Hey, AP here. So a lot of people are dying because of COVID-19. Most of them are dying because of severe lung damage. So what do the COVID-19 infected lungs look like? Let's take a look. So this is what a normal lung looks like. This is the heart. That's your left lung. That's your right lung. As you can see in chest x-ray, the air makes the image appear pretty dark while the denser things makes it appear more brighter. In this x-ray, you can see that the heart is bright while the bones are very bright compared to the lungs that are more darker because there is so much air in it. Now let's look at what the lung would look like if you were infected with COVID-19. So you're probably thinking, Man, do they look the same or am I missing something? You're actually right. They look the same. This is because if you get infected with COVID-19, you're most likely to have a mild infection. And so if the infection is mild, you're hardly going to see any difference on chest x-ray. But that's not why you're here. You're here because you want to know what lungs look like in severe cases. Before we do that, let's first quickly go over the anatomy of the lung. This is your trachea, which divides into two primary bronchus, the left main and the right main bronchus. It further divides into secondary bronchus, which further divides into tertiary bronchus. It's like a tree, but a hollow one. The air passes through the trachea, the primary bronchus, the secondary bronchus, and then the tertiary bronchus. It keeps on passing all the divisions until it reaches the alveolar sac. Alveolar sac is a place where actual gas exchange happens. So let's zoom in. Alveolar sac is made up of individual alveoli. Gas exchange actually occurs at respiratory membrane and this is what it looks like. This is your alveolar epithelium which are cells of your lungs. On this side we have air in the alveoli. On the other side we have capillaries that bring blood for gas exchange to the lungs. Oxygen diffuses from the air to the blood in your capillaries and carbon dioxide diffuses from your blood to the air. Your blood then carries the oxygen throughout the body. So the gas exchange actually happens at the respiratory membrane and this membrane is what is damaged by COVID-19. Let's take a look at the chest x-ray. Once again, this is a normal chest x-ray. This is your trachea, this is the hilum area, this is your heart and of course these are your lungs. And guess what this giant circular thing is? It's actually a gas bubble in your stomach. COVID-19 can cause you to have range of pathology and range of symptoms. If it only affects your trachea and your upper respiratory system, then it's probably just going to cause you to have mild fevers and cough. But if it affects your lower respiratory system, then it can cause you to have atypical pneumonia. This is what it looks like on chest x-ray. What you're seeing here are a lot of interstitial opacities, which are these bright spots that are not supposed to be there. They're there because there's a lot of inflammation going on in your lungs and it's causing it to have a lot of fluid buildup throughout the lung and it causes this bright patchy opacities to appear. Remember, fluid appears brighter than air in chest x-ray. On a CT scan of your chest, COVID-19 pneumonia looks like as if you have ground glass opacities in your lungs. As you can see in this image, you have these different spots of ground glass opacities. This is because there's a lot of fluid buildup and inflammation going on in those parts of the lung. COVID-19 pneumonia can affect your entire lung as compared to typical pneumonias that are caused by different bacteria. Typical pneumonias are usually focal and are restricted to one part of your lung. These opacities occur at the respiratory membrane level. So COVID-19 starts its journey in the nose and travels all the way to alveoli where gas exchange actually happens. Once your immune system detects COVID-19, it gets triggered and it releases a lot of cytokines. These cytokines causes your immune system to go into a destruction mode. Your immune system starts attacking COVID-19 in the respiratory membrane, but at the same time, it also affects your normally healthy lung tissues. It kills your respiratory epithelium. It causes a lot of fluid buildup, a lot of debris buildup, and a lot of scarring in your respiratory epithelium. All this ends up hindering your gas exchange. Now the oxygen cannot easily diffuse from your alveoli to your blood, and so patients end up having less oxygen, so they end up requiring ventilators that help them with the oxygen. This severe lung damage can keep on getting more and more severe and can end up in what we call ARDS. ARDS has a very poor prognosis. In the end, even if a patient recovers, they can still have a permanent lung damage. I hope this video helped you understand the pathology of this disease. COVID-19 is here for a while. Even if the numbers go down, we're still gonna see cases pop up here and there. But for now, let us continue to be cautious, stay clean, stay alert, and be positive. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below. I really need your support.